This is a bombshell finding from the National Transportation Safety Board. It just released this 19 page report. It's preliminary report about that blowout back on January 5th, and it essentially says the bolts, which was been the focus of this investigation from the start, were not there. This is the actual type of bolt. This is an AN6 bolt, pretty common in aviation. This is the bolt itself. There's a castle nut here and then a cotter pin to keep this all together. At one point, there was some conjecture that maybe the cotter pin was missing that would cause this castle nut to uh, work itself free. In actuality, the NTSB says none of these bolts were in place at the time of this blowout last month. The NTSB was able to determine this because they were able to recover the door plug that fell off Alaska Flight 1282 in the Portland backyard of a physics teacher. They brought it to their lab in DC to do something called destructive testing, and they were able to tell from the uh, telltale signs on the door itself and also on the fittings there. You can see those uh, on the side of the door there that these uh, bolts were simply not installed. The running theory from the NTSB now is that these bolts were taken out at some point when this plane was very new. It first flew at the end of October, but the fuselage was delivered by a subcontractor to Boeing on September 1st of 2023 at Boeing. Technicians there noticed some issues with rivets next to the door, and they were able to remove parts of the door and door plug, and the NTSB was able to tell from photos taken of the work that took place on September 19th that the bolts were not installed then. This only adds further scrutiny uh, to Boeing, uh, which is really under a lot of pressure right now when it comes to its quality control. And the big question here is why they removed those bolts and why they did not put them back in. That is something that the NTSB is still trying to determine. They want to figure out what the instructions were specifically that were in the uh, instruction manuals there for Boeing workers at its plant in Renton, Washington. Right now, we just heard from the FAA administrator. There are about two dozen FAA inspectors there conducting an audit of Boeing's quality control but this is only the beginning. This is just the preliminary report. We will see a final report probably in a year's time. No laying blame here by the NTSB on Boeing, although we could find that in a final report.